In today's lesson, we're going to learn about a really important subject called proxy files. So before we get started, let's talk about what proxy files are. So when you're editing with high quality footage, whether it's 4K, 8K, and basically videos that have a really high dimension and resolution, editing those files in any program is rather difficult. Because of the high resolution, your program will lag and it just becomes a difficult experience for the editor. So proxy files are a copy of that video, but in a lower resolution. And this allows you to edit the video in a really smooth way and then export it with its original quality. So creating proxy files for your videos should be a very important step in your video editing journey. Over here, I've got some videos. I've labeled some as 4K and others as HD. Now 4K are videos with the following dimension. If you right click, you can see this is the resolution and anything that's this resolution is 4K. If it goes higher than that, it will be 8K. If your resolution is 1920 by 1080, this counts as an HD video. HD is a lower quality video compared to a 4K footage. If you have a video like this, you wouldn't really want to create a proxy file because this is not that large and we don't have that much going on. But with a 4K video, you can see the file size is really different and we're getting a lot more resolution compared to the HD video. So if I were to edit with 4K footage or 8K footage, drag it onto my timeline, uh, let's match it to media. I will experience some lag in my program because Filmora or any other program is processing all the data that your video has. And when it's 4K, it's a lot of data. And at times it may crash. You may experience some lag in render time and just in overall performance. I just have two videos right now, but imagine editing a music video where you have tons of uh, videos to stitch together and you probably shot them in high quality resolution. So when you come to edit that video, you will definitely experience some lag. Before I jump into how we can create proxy files, I just want to show you guys that not all 4K videos have a high FPS. I need to keep that in mind when you're editing. So this video right here is indeed a large file. If you right click, you can see that it is a 4K video, but the FPS is quite low. Now this doesn't mean that this is a bad video and that it's low quality. It just means that there are less frames per second in this clip. And if I were to slow this down, like we learned, let's click it, head over to uniform speed and just uh, put it for choose point 25 and play this back. You can see how it's almost glitching as it's going onwards. This is not because of the low quality, but because of low FPS. So they are two different things. Let's bring in a video that is HD in terms of resolution, 1920 by 1080, but this has 50 FPS. Let's go for this video, 1920 by 1080, which is HD, but it has 50 frames per second. Let's bring this video onto the timeline and slow it down with the same, with the same amount, 0 0.25. And now let's play this back. You can see how smooth this is compared to the waves that we had. And again, this is not because of the quality, but because of the FPS. So don't mix these two up. They're completely different. All right, so let's go ahead and learn how we can make proxy files. So once you have your 4K video or 8K video and above, you can right click on that video and head over to create proxy file. Filmora will analyze the video and now you can see this icon on the corner. The other videos don't have that. So this video right now has a proxy file. Place it over here and play this back. 
In terms of visibility, nothing has changed. Filmora didn't uh, mess around with the original settings. It just created a file, a copy of your original video with a lower resolution. And keep in mind that this low resolution will only be active until you export the video. So once I finished editing and I export the video, I'm getting my video back in full quality. So proxy files are not messing around with the original uh, settings of your video. It's just creating a separate copy. And I can do this for all the videos. You can even try it for uh, HD footage. Depends on how much your program can take. Usually it's with 4Ks and above. But if your program was lagging, you can go ahead and create a proxy file for HD footage as well. Right click, create proxy file. There we go. Drag this onto my timeline. And again, nothing has changed. Let's mute this. My video is still as it is. The colors are there. The speed is there. The duration is there. Everything is the same. We just get a little bit of a low resolution outcome, which is temporary. If you don't want to create proxy file for each and every single one of your videos separately, you can go ahead and change a setting in your preferences. And you're going to get this window. We're going to learn more about the right preferences for your program in a further lessons. But for now, let's talk about performance, where over here I can change my proxy settings. So we have this box that is checked off. Automatically create proxy when resolution higher than, and then you get to choose it here. Let's go ahead and turn this on. And this is 4K right here, HD and 720p. Depending again on how much your computer can take in terms of hardware, you can decide which one you want to choose. If your program is struggling with 720p footage, you can go ahead and select this. But if it's running OK and it only lags when you have 4K footage, you can hit this. If I choose 4K, anything after 4K will also be uh, used to create a proxy file. I'm going to leave it on 1920 by 1080 because most of the videos that we use in this course are HD. So it's HD and above, and that's okay for me. You can also choose your proxy file folder. It already has a folder, but you can go ahead and choose something else. Hit others if you'd like. You can clean the uh, proxy file because Filmora will keep them even after you delete all of these from your project. And uh, you want to make sure that you have enough space for the rest of the proxy files. So you can manually delete the proxy files here or check the box below, automatically delete proxy when closing a project file. So when I finished editing and I closed this project, Filmora will delete all the proxy files that I created for my media. Let's go ahead and turn this on. If you're going to be editing a lot, I would highly recommend that you turn this on or else you're going to get a lot of proxy files just piling up in the folder. So I'm just going to turn this on. Once you're done, hit this. And we can go ahead and create a proxy file for everything else. I'm going to delete one of these 4K footage and bring them in again and see if Filmora will create one for me. Import media and select the two videos that are 4K. Hit open. And now we're getting this message. For faster editing performance, you can work with smaller proxy copies. When exporting, projects will render with your original full quality media. You can also reset this later in preferences. You can turn this on or leave it off. I'm going to hit OK. And now Filmora is automatically creating uh, proxy files for the 4K footage without me having to select it and right click. So this saves you time, especially when you're importing a lot of footage from your SD card or your external drive. And having to right click on every single one of them is just kind of annoying. 
So right now I'm going to put all of them together. We got this one. Let's put this one right here. The ones that are on your timeline, they have this check mark. So just grab the ones that don't. All right, so let's say I finished editing these really high resolution footage and now it's time to export my video. As you can see, I have created a proxy file for all of the 4K footage. Hit export and you can see that my resolution is still 4K. So creating a proxy file did not affect the resolution that I'm getting after exporting my video. Let's go ahead and export this. Call this 4K. And we're going to check the file separately on our computer without uh, seeing it in Filmora to see whether the resolution remains 4K even after we export it. So I have exported my video. Let's select it and right click. Get info. And now we can see that the dimensions are indeed 4K and I did not lose the quality of my video. So by creating proxy files, I can avoid lag and disturbance during my video editing time and save myself from the frustrations that program crashes and lags would give me. So creating proxy files can really help you out and you want to make sure that you are creating a proxy file for every high resolution video. Or to make it easier, create and uh, adjust these settings in your performance window that we did right now. Now that we learned about proxy files, let's learn more about rendering, playback, and previews.